Entrance Antiphon Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace for Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And this must this include the intentions for the repose of Edgar Pinuela Nunez. And so to begin to the sacrifice of the Mass, let us first call to men over sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, then bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Once we pray, Almighty God, that tree you have been renewed by the Paschal remedies, descending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker, Christ Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in the city, against your holy servant Jesus, whom ye anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness, as you stretch forth your hand to heal. And signs and wonders are done, through the name of your holy servant Jesus, as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage, and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them with his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher and was come from God. 
For no one can do these signs that you're doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen. I say to you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can a person once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows with wheels, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have some enlightening dialogue of Jesus and Nicodemus on the importance of baptism and the power of the Spirit. The dialogue between Nicodemus and Jesus focus on the reality of baptism and receiving works of the Spirit. Entrance then to the kingdom means to be baptized and to follow the promptings of the Spirit. In contrast to what the Pharisees believed and accepted, for them entrance to the kingdom means meticulous following of the law and the traditions. But for the Lord, as he was dialoguing with Nicodemus, is always the promptings of the Spirit, the urging of the Spirit, which makes us all the more becoming sons and daughters of the Lord. Now in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, let us ask ourselves, do our experiences hinder us from understanding and answering the promptings of the Spirit? Does our accumulated knowledge pose an obstacle of the Spirit to lead us where He wants us to go? Or does our stubborn reasoning block the Spirit from penetrating new life in us? In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The reason Christ brought his peace to the apostles as he showed them his first hands and side. And let us pray confident in his name, knowing that he brings true peace to his victory over death. Let us pass be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the whole community of the church may remain faithful to the teachings of the apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of reason, Lord, may spread to our world today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the divine mercy may bring peace to our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will share our goods and possessions to generosity and Christian hospitality, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, we will also offer our own personal intentions always remembering the doctors, the nurses, the medical representatives who are working hard to contain this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of infinite mercy, do not see your son, but we love him and offer prayers in his name. We rejoice because we believe in him. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> and sacrifice acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings with certain church. And as have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. And this we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our dear salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But on this day, above all, you, Lord, more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for his the true Lamb was taken away the sins of the world, by dying this to their death, and by rising this to their life. Therefore, overcome with practical joy, every land, every people is also in her praise, and even heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing to an ending him with glory, as they say. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And you need to Lord, the foundable holiness. Make holy for these gifts, we pray, by sin and spirit to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time of betrayed and ended in this passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this. All of you on eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> And the similar when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for in the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which we poured out from for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Mm. 
the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of our salvation, giving thanks to the best worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may get into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your choice to the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Their friends, your Pope, Peter and our Bishop, the clergy, the sisters, and for us preparing their ministries. Remember also our brothers and sisters fall asleep in the hope of rise again, especially for Edgar, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them unto the light of our face. Have mercy on us to all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you to our ages, we merit to be cursed to eternal life, and we pray to glorify you to the Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Praying for the coming of God's kingdom with confidence, let us say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for you be evil. Grace around peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may escape from sin and save from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said the Apostle, peace I leave you, my peace they give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Friends, this is the Lord Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we invited to partake this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer you the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that thou art truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire to receive thee into my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee and unite myself entirely to thee. Never permit me to be separated from thee. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o 
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew the eternal mysteries may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. And this we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. We may again peace to serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Jesus, 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 Jesus,